So, greetings to the people on YouTube, and we are in FF Record Keepers today, and we're starting with A Glimmer of Hope, the new Final Fantasy VII event. And let's have a look. Story, Cloud Strife, a young man who claims to be a former soldier. False memories have hidden Cloud's true self, though he has joined Avalanche to fight Sh Sh Shinra and save the planet. Doubts about his own identities continue to trouble him. And it's Ares Gainsborough, not Ares, American translation. A descendant of the ancients, a race known as the Cetra, Ares has the power to commune with and, with and heal the planet. Strong-willed and optimistic, she sets out on a journey to discover her true purpose. So, the prologue, are you going to participate in the reunion? Sephiroth utters these mysterious words to Cloud in Nibelheim, Sephiroth's ultimate goal, to use Meteor, magic of unimaginable pow destructive power to wound the planet and become a god by channeling the energy, aka the life stream released by the planet to heal itself. Aware of Sephiroth's plans to unleash Meteor, Ares ventures alone to the Forgotten City's prey for the planet's salvation, aka Holy. Cloud and the others followed her arriving just in time. SPOILERS! Knowing Meteor's hurling towards the cloud planet, Cloud and his friends despair. They return to the for Forgotten City in hope to claim the White Materia, which is able to stop Meteor by using Holy, of course. So Cloud vows to defeat Zephyroth and clear the way for Ares, his last prayer to be fulfilled. Cloud, but I can't remain trapped in it, an illusion anymore. I'm going to live my life without pretending. Ares, I'll come back when it's all over. Aww. So we get Record Spheres unlocked for Ares, Red 13, Vincent, Zack, and Reno. Reno. Of course, you need sphere levels, you need the character level 65 or above. And also we get Ares, Barrett, Red 13 and Sid. We get those to unlock stuff. Get Memory Crystal 2s for Cloud and Ares. Have we not had these yet? Interesting. So we can raise their level caps to 80 and get Memory Crystals for Cloud, Ares, Barrett, Red 13 and Sid. So with all that done, let's head into it. Of course, we're just going to be also in through this first set of normal modes here's our party full of FF7 characters yay 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 we've got Cloud, Zephyroth, Barrett, Vincent and Ares Vincent our black mage funnily enough yeah, we'll just go with this fine as I said we're just gonna auto through these first five dungeons I'll, I'll use a Mithril to refill my stamina, so don't worry, I'll be going through all of it today. And let's put it to battle speed 5, auto. See how much damage we do. Ah, pretty good. Wow, 6 damage. Of course, these are always easy. So. If you've got a high powered party, you're going to fly through it. If not, it's always a good chance to level up your characters through the synergy bonus. Just remember to bring a full party of FF7 characters. And that's done, let's move on to the next one. So, as I mentioned before, earlier, there's new stuff out, brand new stuff, brand new soul breaks. Looking forward to seeing them. And of course, why did they bring new stuff out? Just when they've had a triple burst blast. Honestly, we don't get enough Mithril. Here we have two Art Dragons. And finally... An Elf, a Dunk and a Hedgehog Pie. Hmm. 
You look like they come from nine more, really. I don't remember Hedgehog Ties being in seven. You fought them just as soon as you go out of Midgar. So let's move on to the boss section. Looks like it's the Midgar Saloon. Because we are in the marshes, of course. Where you did fight the Midgar Saloon. You had a choice if you wanted to fight him or not, of course. If you had a chocobo, you could just blast through it. As if you didn't, he'll catch up to you. And of course, he uses the powerful blue magic trine, which you could learn. Wow, that is one weird Midgar saloon. And he's dead already. I believe we've just got an elite dungeon with this. No part twos of anything. And let's move on to the next section. Of course we're going to obtain a lot of mithril from doing this. Mithril Saber, lesser growth egg times 40, greater growth egg times 1, but that was red 13, so... And we already have him, so... If you already have the characters, don't worry, it won't get wasted, it'll just be converted into a greater growth egg. And on to Mount Nebel. Wonder if the boss is going to be the Materia Keeper. Most likely it will be. So, first up we have two twin brains. Oh, auto please. Yeah, twin, br twin brain and a black bat. So, here's our party for this event. Cloud and Sephiroth are just physical attackers. Surprisingly, Baron's our uh, support character. Strange as well that Vincent's the Black Mage. More than likely the only true Black Mage in the entire party. Or the entire roster of, of uh, characters. I think Kate Sith can do some as well. Of course they can all generally do everything. Some more so than others. Oh, we have a dragon. Who's dead? Sonic Speed and Twin Brain. And of course, Ares is our white mage. The only one true white mage in the roster. But I think Kate Sith can be a white mage as well. And a high potion. Not that we need it. And let's move on to the boss section. Yep, there's the Materia Keeper. I wish you had more Mithril. And also we go. Two Twin Brains to start off with. Sonic Speed and a Black Bat. And finally, boss fight! Materia Keeper, there he is. Ooh, 20 damage. 
Interior Keeper also uses Trine, of course. I wonder what the final boss is going to be. I wonder if it's actually stepping off. Probably not. And for our rewards, we get next part of what? Thousand Gill Diamond Bangle. Oh, that's nice. Is that an accessory? Lightning Orb, Times 5, Great Growth Egg, and Measle. But of course, that was Sid. So, we, we already have him, so he gets converted. On to Gaius Cliff. Hmm. Who's the boss for this? From what I'm thinking the area is, the boss is probably... That two-headed dragon... Shizo! Was it? Shizo! Something like that. Oh, come on Vincent. Of course he is on the back row, so he's dealing less damage. My potion's always nice. You get a whole eater and a acrophilies. And full medals for everything. Let's move on to the next section. Yeah, it looks like it is. I can see him from here. What was that? A Baba Vimu? A Baba Vimu. And they're dead. And they're dead. Completed. Let's move on to the boss section. Running out of stamina fast. But we'll just use a meat. We're gonna get plenty from this. And the boss fight. Yeah, she's all. Corner flame. Dragon, of course, they use Dragon Fang when they die, so you've got to be prepared for that. Pretty sure your character's a heal up, or I believe it's magic based, so you might get away with a magic blink. And let's move on to the next section of this dungeon. Ooh, getting some nice XP bonus from this. And we get next part unlocked 2000 Gil Metal Saber from 7, Greater Growth Egg times 20, Cloud gets converted, and we get a Metal. And then we go 
Do we have enough stamina? Yeah, we do. And then we go to Midgard. We're going back to Midgard. Probably, it looks like. Yep, yeah, we are going back to Midgard, so the boss is probably going to be Diamond Weapon. Most likely it's going to be Diamond Weapon. I swear Battle Speed 5 used to be faster than this. Yeah, because we're just on the outskirts of Midgard there. So we have to kill Diamond Weapon before it reaches Midgard. Or we just let it reach Midgard. Oh, come on guys, you couldn't kill it. And that part's done, let's move on to the next part. Nice, we get a level up. On to Midgar part 2. Should say return to Midgar. First we fight, have to fight a dragon. Then we fight two custom sweepers. And finally... A devil ride. Moving on to the boss section. We are fighting the diamond weapon. Devil Ride is dead. Another Devil Ride. Let's come off auto. Diamond attack with summoning magic. Really? Okay, so I guess that's interesting to know for elite fights. Oh, okay. So, looks like we can only kill it with magic then. Until its core is vulnerable, then we can hit it with physical attacks. Wow, do we really have to include some summons? Let's move on to the final section, we'll use it for me to restore our stamina. 2000 Gil, Diamond Bangle, Lightning Orb, times 5, Ares gets converted, and we get me through. Into the Northern Cave! Who are we fighting, I wonder? Uh, that'll do. Yes, please. So is this the final... Final part then? Final section of the game, really? 
First don't we face a gargoyle though. Then a dark dragon. Finally an added man. And that part's done, let's move on to the next part. Northern Cave, part two. Just up we fight a gargoyle. And a nari man. And finally a dark dragon. Full medals, nice. What is that? Well, let's find out. Don't tell me that's Genova Synthesis. Genova Synthesis. What is it? Dragon Zombie? What kind of final boss is that, Dina? Well, our blast good. Our blast is going to kill it off. Okay, so it uses Pandora's box before it dies. Oh well. And that's going to do for the normal part of this section. For our rewards, we get. Elite unlock 3000 gil, white orb times 10, black orb times 10, mithril and the soul of the hero. So yeah, next up we have got the elite dungeon. Pretty much the same as a normal dungeon, only a bit harder. A bit more difficult. So to the people on YouTube, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the Elite episode.